Today we are checking out the Gooly Gooly Smart Companion Robot for Pets. This robot is a way to play with and interact with your pets, even when you're away from home. Beyond that, I have no idea what to expect, so let's dive right in. If you've watched any of my previous unboxing videos, you know how much I appreciate an easy setup, and setup for this was basically non-existent. You take it out of the box, there's a charging cord, and that's it for the physical part. The only other thing you need to do is download the GL Pets app. Doing that was easy and straightforward, which is always a good sign. To turn the robot off and on, you press this gray button on the back. The green light means it's on, and a blue light will pop up once it's connected. Now that the app is downloaded and the robot is charged, we are ready to take it out for a spin. When you click the start button within the app, you're taken to an interface that looks like this. The four arrows in the lower left hand corner allow you to navigate and steer the robot, which is a lot of fun. The robot has 360 degrees of motion, and I was actually rather surprised by how well and how easily it moves. In terms of maneuvering, I have never been particularly good at video games, but even I could do this. As you can see, there is a camera built into the robot. To be candid with you all for a moment, I test a lot of products, and in the pet product world, it is super trendy right now to incorporate cameras into the device itself. I've tried so many different things with cameras in them, from food dispensers to vacuums, but this is unequivocally the best camera quality I've seen from a smart device so far. Especially in moments of stillness, the footage is surprisingly crisp. Like, look. That's pretty darn good. Okay, back to the app. On the right-hand side of the screen, you have a number of command controls. A few of them are pretty self-explanatory. The photo icon allows you to take a picture, and the video camera icon allows you to record footage in increments of up to 30 seconds at a time. All those videos and pictures get saved to an album in-app. And then this microphone icon allows you to actually talk to your pets through the robot's two-way audio function. Let's talk about the other symbols, which might not be so clear. This little reverse icon changes the style of the navigational controls. So watch the lower left-hand side of the screen for a moment. It goes from this to this. I am not very good at this version yet, so I will be sticking with the default option for now. This little starburst icon at the top is a laser. We don't personally use lasers with our cats, but this is what it looks like, and I am going to make an exception to our laser rule in just a moment. This joystick icon is one of the most impressive features, in my opinion. It puts the robot into companion mode, where it can follow and interact with your pets of its own volition. I'm gonna break my laser rule just this once to show you what it looks like. This is a very cool feature, and one thing that I would love to see, perhaps in a future software update, would be the ability to toggle off the laser pointer function while in companion mode. And then last but not least, there is this treat icon. To get ready to use that, we are going to put some cat treats into the robot's top compartment. After you've put some goodies inside, you can click that button, and the robot will automatically dispense a treat for your pet. If you have a particularly lazy cat or dog, I think that this is a great way to just give them a little bit more motivation to interact with the robot. Okay, when I first heard about the Smart Companion, I was genuinely not sure how my cats were going to respond to it, and I was a little bit concerned that they might actually be frightened of it. But, as I found out, even Dave, after his first initial, what is that, moment, became totally comfortable with it, and was actively even interested in it. From the human side, using it is super fun. Jackson and I had a blast trying it out. In terms of practical real-life application, I anticipate using this as a way to continue daily enrichment for my cats while we travel. We both generally work from home, so the cats are used to a lot of hands-on time, and anything that can engage them and really spark their curiosity while we're away is a win in my book. In terms of price point, at the time of posting, this is listed on the Ghoulie Ghoulie website for $159.99, which I think is extremely reasonable for what it is, especially given the camera quality thing that we talked about. I have not yet had an opportunity to test the battery life, but it purportedly lasts 15 days with regular use, or approximately 10 hours with continuous use. Overall, this has been an absolute delight to experiment with, and I'll pop a link in the description in case you want to try it out for yourself. As always, leave me your questions in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you all so much for joining us today, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.